City Councilwoman Marty Emerald is also under fire today. Some San Diegans are using social media to launch a recall effort against her. Continuing our team coverage, 10 News reporter Jennifer Jensen is at City Hall with how Emerald responded when we asked her about the attacks. Just back from a three week government leadership training program, Marty Emerald tells 10 News she is shocked and saddened by what's happening in our city, although some say she also needs to go. This is the Facebook page launching the recall of San Diego City Councilwoman Marty Emerald. The reason for her recall, it reads, for supporting Mayor Bob Filner's sexual indiscretions and not representing her constituents. I understand. I understand the anger. And you know, there are people who need to get it out. And if you have to do it uh, by heaping it on me, so be it. Tuesday at City Hall, Councilwoman Emerald voted with the rest of her colleagues to file a cross complaint against the mayor to protect taxpayers to limit the city's liability. Yet she has not called on the mayor to resign. I feel pain for the women who've been harmed. I am pained by the impact on the city I love. I feel badly for Bob that a fatal flaw is what will be remembered for a man who had a stand-up career as a public servant. Clearly not all agree with her opinions. Miss Emerald, I'm shocked. You called Bob Feldner courageous for stepping forward. There's nothing courageous about a sexual batterer, nothing. At Tuesday City Council meeting, San Diego resident Julie Adams verbally lashed out at council members Myrtle Cole and Emerald. There's many women that were wronged, and you have not stepped forward. You didn't say he needs to go. You said he needs to go in timeout. We put two-year-olds in timeout. He's the one who's decided to take a timeout, two weeks of intense therapy, and I have no doubt that he needs that. At City Hall, Jennifer Jensen, 10 News.